is this the wildest social media scam yet? Or is there something even bigger going on behind the scenes? What I'm talking about is the Crumble Sydney cookie saga. I'm going to go over uh, quite a few facets about this whole scam that has unfolded in the last couple of days. Quite a few moral lessons here that you should probably absorb. Crumble Saga is there's a company in the US and Canada called Crumble. They're apparently really famous for their cookies. They all of a sudden about 10 days ago, Crumble Sydney pops up on social and starts saying that there is going to be a Crumble Sydney pop-up store coming up. Apparently, they flew all the way to the US to buy, flew back with these cookies and then sold out, charging $17.50 a pop. The backlash and negativity about this whole pop-up scandal is wow. Like it, my entire TikTok feed is just that. Here's all the red flags that immediately tell me that this is potentially a scam. There are no faces whatsoever. Any face that is actually shown, it's clearly, you can see that it's actually a video that's been downloaded and that's been reposted. This is a video from the Crumble account that we obviously saw previously is right on the Crumble Sydney account. No faces being shown on the on posts is a massive red flag already for a brand that is known to show their employees online. Number two, if you look up the address of where this pop-up shop is, this is what it is. That is not a food shop. You have to legally here in order to be able to sell food goods, you have to have the appropriate setting for it. You have to have the appropriate shop for it. And this obviously is not it. It is absolutely absurd for anyone to think that a food pop-up shop housed in a trophy store is actually legit. Now let's use some maths. The first TikTok post talking about this pop-up shop is from September 20th. They start stating the date of September 25th. Then they say that due to flight delays, they have to push the date back by four days, making it September 29th. The video about taking flights out to go and get the cookies is from six days ago. So on Wednesday, that's September 25th, the original pop-up date. They're on a flight and they were putting that out six days ago that their pop-up shop is late. They probably have already technically have bought the cookies and they've been sitting there waiting to get on a plane back to Sydney. These cookies are at least five days old and yet people still lined up and still paid $17.50 for them. That is to say if that flight video is actually real which I don't think it is. However, what if Crumble is behind this whole thing? Like so far, they haven't actually publicly come out saying we aren't the ones behind this or anything. Supposedly the CEO or the founder of Crumble came onto a comment onto an influencer's post saying, hey, it wasn't us, but that's not something publicly out there really. That's creating this hype and stuff is like textbook guerrilla marketing. It's like we see this happen all the time where people are trying to create controversy in order to really get a lot of hype behind a particular brand, a particular person, a particular opinion, you name it. Could this have been the perfect setup to create the hype around a new Crumble location? I don't know, but I definitely wouldn't have gone about it doing this. Like, if you think about it, this is actually tarnishing the Crumble brand as well. Like people have gotten a stale or a lackluster cookie. These people that are behind this whole thing could could actually have put themselves in a lot of hot water. I mean, not only is there potential copyright infringement, potential biohazard security uh, infringement from bringing the cookies in without having them sealed, important customs tax that has been avoided, potential legalities with the ACCC about reselling an item, safety. There's a much deeper issue here about how we consume and believe nearly everything that we see and hear on the internet blatant stupidity to sh just completely believe something that you see online and also pay $17.50 for a fucking cookie. Especially when the red flags are right there waving wildly in your face. I think the lesson here for every party involved is don't be an idiot. It might seem too good to be true and or it doesn't make quite a whole lot of sense. 
Do your research for God's sake. What do you think? Do you think this is a dumb scam or is Crumble Cookies secretly laughing at us all the way over here in sunny Australia?